Greetings, dear listeners, and welcome to War of 1812 channel. I hope you're all doing well. Now, I run a military history book club at my local public library, and recently one of our members brought us a grade 11 history test from 1969. A grade 11 history test from 1969. So today, I'm going to share with you five questions from that exam, the five easiest questions, and my question for you is, could you pass? Can you answer these questions? The questions are all multiple choice, so let us begin. Question number one. The name of the only important major naval battle of World War I was 1. Verdun, 2. The Somme, 3. Jutland, 4. The Marne. Again, the name of the only important major naval battle of World War I was 1. Verdun, 2. The Somme, 3. Jutland, for the Marne. Question number two. Which of the following did France lose as a result of the Franco-Prussian War and regain after World War I? One, one, the Ruhr Valley. Two, the Rhineland. Three, Tunis. Four, Nice. <laughs> I know, it's Nice. Nice. Four, Nice. And five, Lorraine. I think I went out with her. Well, it can't be that Lorraine. Again, which of the following did France lose as a result of the Franco-Prussian War and regain after World War I? One? one, the Ruhr Valley. Two, the Rhineland. Three, Tunis. Four, Nice. Or five, Lorraine. Page two and question three. The last president of the Weimar Republic in Germany was 1. Hitler 2. Hindenburg 3. Ebert 4. Stressman Again, the last president of the Weimar Republic in Germany was 1. Hitler 2. Hindenburg 3. Ebert or 4. Stressman Question number 4. In his attempt to create a totalitarian state in Germany. Hitler was the least successful in A. 1. The suppression of all other political parties. 2. The centralization of local and provincial governments. 3. The control of the press. And 4. The coordination of the churches. Again, in his attempt to create a totalitarian state in Germany, Hitler was the least successful in 1. The suppression of all other political parties. 2. The centralization of local and provincial governments. 3. The control of the press. And 4. The coordination of the churches. And now, here's question 5. The last question, and I think the toughest question. So listen up. Germany's famous Schlieffen plan of World War I was chiefly designed to 1. Keep England out of the war. 2. Secure the channel ports. 3. Place German troops in position to invade England. 4. Capture Paris. Or 5. Trap the bulk of the French army. So again, Germany's famous Schlieffen plan of World War I was chiefly designed to 1. Keep England out of the war 2. Secure the channel ports 3. Place German troops in position to invade England 4. Capture Paris or 5. Trap the bulk of the French army Now, dear listeners, can you answer these questions? Could you pass? I'm going to put all of the questions and my answers to them in the description. And you can let me know in the comments if you agree with me 
or not. As well, you can let me know if you would like another quiz with five more questions, five tougher questions. If this is your first visit to War of 1812 channel, my name is Warren and I'm your host. I'm not an expert on the War of 1812, but a student wishing to learn more about the conflict. And I think it would be a lot more interesting and a lot more fun if you learned along with me. If you learned with me, learned along with me. So won't you join War of 1812 channel today? Subscribe to War of 1812 channel. I want you for the War of 1812 channel. And till the barrage lifts, cheers.